Hi, my friends. It is time for math. The last two days we've been talking about length. Well, today we are going to be talking about height. And height is how tall something is, okay? So we have tall and we have short that are going to be associated with the word height. So we have tall and short. To help us learn more about tall and short, I have a little bit of a sort that we're gonna to do together. You don't have any materials, you just are watching, okay? So here is our sort paper. We have the word taller, we have the word shorter, and then we have the word same. So I have a few groups of cards and we're gonna determine which one is taller, which one is shorter, or if the picture cards are the same, okay? And remember, taller can also mean bigger, and shorter can also mean smaller, okay? But we're gonna use the words taller and shorter today. Okay, so first things first. I have two pictures of dogs, okay? I got two pictures of dogs. Are the dogs the same height? Are they the same? Are they tall together? Or is one shorter and one taller? Are they the same or is one shorter or is one taller? That's right. They are not the same. So we need to glue whichever one is taller on this side and whichever is shorter on this side. Okay, so let's look real quick. All right, so we have number one. And number two, which one is shorter? Is number one shorter or is number two shorter? Shout it out. That's right, number two is shorter. So I'm going to go grab my glue stick and I'm going to glue it on the shorter side. All right, so I'm putting glue right here. And I'm putting the shorter dog under the word shorter. Now, where am I gonna put the taller dog? Am I gonna put it right here? No, because that would mean it's shorter. We're gonna put it on the other side of the line, under the word taller. Okay, so we see that this dog is taller than this dog, and this dog is shorter than this dog, okay? So we have the taller dog and the shorter dog. All right, so the next group we have are the houses. All right, are the houses the same height or is one taller and one shorter? Are they the same or is one taller and one shorter? Just shout it out. That's right, they are the same. So we're gonna glue both houses down under the word same. So let me get my glue stick out. Give me some more glue. Grab a glue here. Put the house down. Gonna grab a glue here. Put the house down. Okay, so this shows us that the houses are the same height. All right, we got one more group and then we'll move on to our worksheet, okay? All right, so I got two men. I got two men. Are they the same height or is one man shorter than the second man? Are they the same height or is one man taller and one shorter? That's right, they are not the same, so we have to determine which one's taller and which one is shorter. Okay, so we got number one and number two. So this one's number one, this one's number two. Which of these men is taller? Which one is taller? That's right, this one right here, number two. You're gonna watch what I do. We're gonna put it on the taller side because this man is taller, all right? And then we're gonna put this guy on the shorter side because he is shorter, okay? Good job, okay. So we learned about the words taller, shorter, and same, okay? Now what we're going to do, you need to grab out 
5.4 worksheet. You're gonna grab some crayons and then you are going to need a pencil and snap cubes. But the snap cubes will be for the back. So you can put your snap cubes to the side. So we're gonna need 5.4 worksheet. We are going to need a pencil. We're gonna need crayons and our snap cubes, okay? Okay, once you have all your materials, 5.4 worksheet, a pencil, your crayons, and your snap cubes, you're going to get started, okay? So pause the video until you have all your materials. All right, first thing is first, we are going to write our names on top, and then we stop. All right, write your name on top and then you stop. Okay, so let's read the directions together, okay? So, the directions say, Color the taller object. So another way to say taller, remember, is bigger. So they want us to color the bigger object, but we're gonna use the word taller, okay? So when you're thinking about the word taller, just think of the word bigger, okay? So color the taller object. So we got two sets of rocket ships. Can you put your finger on the taller rocket ship? Which one's taller? All right, you should be pointing to this rocket. With your crayons, I want you to color in this rocket. Okay, I'm gonna do some play. And then I'm gonna color my rocket blue. Okay, so we color the rocket that is taller. If you need a few more moments to finish up coloring up that rocket, pause the video. All right, let's move on. We have two trees, two trees. Put your finger on the tree that is taller. Put your finger on the tree that is taller. Okay, you should be pointing to this tree right here. Okay, so I want with your crayons, you're gonna color in this, the taller tree. Okay, use your crayons, take your time, make sure you stay inside the lines and color the taller tree. All right, you should have colored the tree that is taller. If you need a few more minutes to finish up coloring the tree, pause the video now. All right, the next one they want us to do. We have two sets of ladders. Put your finger on the ladder that is taller. Put your finger on the ladder that is taller. 
That's right. This ladder is taller. With your crayons, color in that ladder. All right, you should have colored the ladder that is taller. All right, if you need a few more minutes to catch up on the ladder, just pause the video now. All right, the last group we have for this are two sets of houses. Please put your finger on the house that is taller. Put your finger on the house that is taller. You should have had your finger on this house because it is taller. With your crayons, color in the tallest house. All right, you should have colored the object, the, the house that is taller. If you need a few more moments to finish up the house, just pause the video right now. Okay, so for the next few, I'm gonna do the first one with you, then you're gonna do the last three by yourself. The directions say, draw the same object shorter. So what it wants you to do for this one, they want you to draw a flower, but make sure that flower is shorter. So watch, I'm gonna use my crayon. Just watch what I'm doing, you don't have to do it with me. Okay, and I'm drawing and making sure that the flower is shorter or smaller, okay? You see how I did that? Is my flower taller than the flower they gave you? Nope, it is shorter. And then when you finish drawing yours, you're gonna color in the picture that they give for you, okay? I'm gonna make this one a daisy because I love daisies. Okay. So for the next three objects, they want you to draw the same thing, but shorter. So for this picture, they want you to draw a boy, but make sure he is shorter than the one they give you. This picture, they want you to draw a lamb, but make sure the lamb is shorter than the lamp, the, the lamp you draw is shorter than the lamp that is here. And the same thing for the dog. You're gonna draw a dog that is shorter than the dog they give you. All right, so I want you to work on that now. Remember when you finish drawing your objects, you color in the pictures that they give you. When you have finished drawing your objects and coloring in these objects, I want you to unpause the video and we're gonna flip over our page and work on the back. All right, you should only be on the back of the page if you have completely finished the front. All right, this is where we're gonna need our snap cubes and our pencils, okay? So we're going to read the directions. It says, write the number to make five, okay? So they don't want us just to count how many are on the domino. 
They want us to see how many more we need to make five. So we're gonna do that activity like we did, I believe it was on Monday. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna make a tower of five. This is how you're gonna start off every question. Now look at the domino. How many do we already have on the domino? We have two, so we're gonna take away two. One, two. How many snap cubes do I have left? I right, let's count. One, two, three. So with your pencil, you're gonna write three on the line, okay? So they don't want us to write how many are on the domino. They want us to write how many more we need to make five. So are we just gonna, let's see, we're gonna go to the next one. Am I just gonna start off with this tower? Nope, I have to make sure I'm starting off with a tower of five. So let's make sure we have a tower of five. One, two, three, four, five. How many do I already have on the domino? One, so I'm gonna take away one, one. And let's count how many we have left. One, two, three, four. Now, all right, so we write four on the line. So this shows us that one and four make five, okay? So the directions are, you're not copying the number they give you. You're seeing how many on our snap cubes, how many more we need to make five. So you start off with the tower of five, you look at how many are on the domino and take away that many, and how many ever you have left, you write that number on the line. All right, when you have finished with your math worksheet, please have someone send me a picture. Good luck, and I will see you soon.